Hey, what's up, everybody? We have some breaking news here that is huge, huge news for the Cowboys defense. This is serious. Cab mode time with the camo because we're going to war. All right. So, uh, breaking news here. Haven't seen anything official, official from DallasCowboys.com, but uh, here from uh, G Scott 710 ESPN. He's he's saying here. Look at this. I'm told that former Seahawks defensive coordinator Chris Richard will be the defensive backs coach and passing game coordinator for Dallas Cowboys. All right, so this is huge because who is Chris Richard? Some of you guys may be asking who he is besides the defensive coordinator for the Seahawks who was just fired. The Seahawks had a kind of a down season. Not too bad of a season, but uh, Chris Richard, the firing of him was considered a surprise by many. Um, now, he is considered to by a lot of people to be one of the architects of the Legion of Boom. Uh, before he became defensive coordinator for the Seattle Seahawks, he was their DB coach. Coached these young guys up together as a group. The camaraderie, like I've been talking about. All right? And the Cowboys, they drafted a lot of these, you know, pretty good uh, players for our, our secondary. Um they all came in together, the camaraderie. Adding Chris Richard into the mix excites me, all right? This is something that really excites me. We're dealing with the offseason, talking about draft and this and that, but this is probably one of the best uh, moves the Cowboys have made here in the offseason right now. And the next question is, could this be a, uh, a hint? Could Earl Thomas be coming to Dallas as well? Now, let's address that, okay? Um, Earl Thomas is still under contract, um, and let's talk about the pros and cons here of this, okay? In order for the, in order for the Cowboys to get Earl Thomas, it would have to be with him getting released. We're not going to give draft picks for him, all right? You can count that out, unless it's something super cheap, all right? But the Seahawks are probably not going to be looking for something super cheap. Ultimately, if he wants out, maybe they let him out of his contract and they release him. It'll save them eight. I think 8.5 million on the cap or something like that. So he might be a cap casualty. Now, what are the pros? The pros obviously would be bringing veteran leadership here to the secondary, working with Chris Richard. Um, another note here to take note of is the agent of Earl Thomas is David Dunn, who happens to be the agent for coach Jason Garrett. All right. So, are the stars aligning for the secondary? We'll see, man. We'll see. But the biggest part of this, Chris Richard, all right, regardless if Earl Thomas is released and becomes a cowboy. Now, the con, if Earl Thomas were to come here, he um, he will be 29 in May, all right? So he's, he's got, uh, he's a little bit long in the tooth, all right? Um, has had a lot of hamstring type tweaks throughout his career, especially here the last two seasons. Had the broken uh, tibia here in 2016, 2017, followed it up with, um, you know, nagging hamstring issues, had a knee issue here and there. So he is a little bit beat up, all right? Now, that's not to say the Cowboys wouldn't take interest in him. For me, he'd be an upgrade over Byron Jones. A lot of people would be an upgrade, in my opinion, anyway. But, um, but that's those are a few of the cons, you know. He's got the age, he's got some, some uh, tread on the tires, but um, if you're looking for somebody to install Chris Richards' plan here for the secondary, Earl Thomas would be a nice addition. You know, it, to me, it would be equivalent to when the Cowboys uh, traded for Thomas Everett. You know, I'm going old school here, but the Cowboys, they, dra they traded with Pittsburgh to get Thomas Everett safety, shorter guy, 5'9", uh, and really help solidify the Cowboys secondary there at, at the safety position um, along with Darren Woodson. Now, uh, Earl Thomas, you know, similar similar body type, 5'10". Uh, not, the, not the tallest guy, but he plays with a lot of heart, a lot of tenacity, and is always around the ball. He'll hit you, he'll cover. I mean, he's a good player. Now, by no means would I, would I not draft another cornerback or DB if, if we were to make this move down the line okay now this is a we still have a long ways to go for the offseason 
So I'm just bringing you these facts here ahead of time. So big news of the day, Chris Richard, secondary coach, looking down the line, possibly Earl Thomas, if that might be in the cards, possibly. But let me know what you guys think, all right? Are you excited about this move? Because I am. I am legitimately excited about this. I was already excited about where the secondary was heading right now. You add this piece, this defense, it could be something special, man. And we're, I mean, we're seeing some defenses right now in the playoffs that look good, right? I mean, the Eagles, uh, Minnesota, these guys, the Cowboys, we're on our way. We're on our way. We're only a few players away. And, and coaching is a big part of it, man. I've always said that coaching is a big part of it and getting Chris Richards in here. Plus, you know, if Rod Marinelli were to leave in 2019, you have somebody in place to take over. But let me know what you guys think, all right? I don't want this video to go too long, but I wanted to get this out there for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this. And as usual, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification button and share. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.